Good afternoon. This is your buddy Jim. Welcome to my humble shop. Welcome to Slop in the Shop. Uh, this is more of an update than it is anything of any particular importance. I got a bunch of little clips, a little off and in, and things I've been doing for the last several weeks. Uh, I apologize for not being with you much, but uh, hey, we've been busy. Um, this and a lot of stuff that's not toting the camera around. So, uh, before I tell you we're going to feed the pigs, I'll kind of give you a heads up what's been going on in, in our world here. Uh, basically, we've been chasing our tails on the race car project. Um, ever since Memorial Day, and that's been about six weeks ago, we have been having loads and loads and loads of trouble with the race car, with the engine. The We were protested, and I think you've seen that in an earlier, maybe one of our racing videos. And basically what happened is the engine got tore down, and we've had trouble getting that thing to run right. Uh, we basically... And this created a lot of problems. And part of the reason for the wall climbing and all that. So let me put it to you simply. Uh, I've been chasing my tail running around trying to get uh, a local fabricator to fix the car. Um, we've been chasing our tail trying to get the engine right. Uh, still working on it as of shooting this video. The heads are laying in my, bill, in my home. We've actually took them off, thought we had a warp valve, had them checked. So, we just got to get that straightened out, and that's been teething up tons and tons and tons of my time. Plus, took a week's vacation to the Florida. It's our anniversary weekend, so we went to Florida. It's where my sister-in-law was down there and all, so we all went together and had a big time in Florida. Uh... Flying's always a darn hassle, <laughs> but we managed to make all of it work, so that's kind of what it is. So I've got a little bit of, I've just got some random stuff here. Uh, I think there's a little bit of late work, a lot of it's just updates. Uh, I've been working on my building for the, the house of race car, and I think the last time you seen a video we had concrete poured, well... Before vacation and the day after vacation, I've been uh, more or less collecting framing and got the framing, the wood framing in. So it's all done. Um, I'm going to show you, I think there may be even a clip of some uh, the cheap the steel metal that's going on outside. It's a little off. Hey, it's a marketplace fine, and I got it in a bargain. So, no further ado, we're going to get the slop out, the pig bucket ready. You can gather everybody around the TV. Again, I kind of apologize for just not being able to get you some video together. I've just been working, and I'll tell you the truth, the camera's just been resting. And uh, I know that's kind of bad for a YouTuber, but guys, I hope you hang in there with me. So, with no further ado, I'll quit running my yap. Let's get to watching what I've been doing. Okay, what you see here is what we call a spring cup. What this is, it goes up in where your spring is in the regular street car, and it allows you to adjust the height for the car for the springs. Uh, I'm working on the car this morning, you know, repairing it from the wreck we have. Well, one of the problems we have, and this was not as bad as the other side I did yesterday, is these things were too tall, so somebody cut them off. And what they've done is they use something like a cutoff wheel, and it ain't very dang true. So we're hunting speed this morning. Stop flat. So 
One more do. And just keep taking little passes like this till I true it up. I'll take one more of the candle. I'll bring it back when I get it done. But it's getting close, but it's usually got one or two holes in it. So I have to take about 20 thousands at a time because it's not holding on very much. I don't want to sling it out. All right, let's take a few on the cut and see if we're there again. Getting close. I thought I had it, but I brought you back. Another 40, that shouldn't make any. Yeah, it's time well come out now. Oh yeah, now we're nice and slick here. True. True, true, true. Well, if I get my D-bar tool and cut the bars out of the inside, we'll go back to work race car. Okay. There are some two befores laying here. Here's some stuff. Uh, this is the automotive shop that's coming along. I'm going to close it out. I went to an outlet place today and got some a door. Uh, and I'm actually framing, starting to frame this back up. And what I'm going to do is frame it up, then frame the front here up and leave an opening, and then we're going to build a door of some sort. And I really won't put sliders in, but the heights may come into play here. I'm not sure yet. So I may end up making swinging doors. It just depends on what that height works out to be. Uh, you see, I've just got stuff sitting here like so the race cars over at my friends were working on, been working on it, trying to get it ready. I've done some work here at the house, but didn't tuck it over there because we got to uh, do more work, keep running into stuff. So, I kind of worry out on the update. If you'll notice, this isn't fastened yet, I just pre drilled it. What I've done. I'm going to put these two befores here, and I'm bolting them to the original framing with using threaded inserts, uh, or nut inserts that you put in, excuse me, like a rivet. See right here, they are. So that's the building update, and hopefully, maybe sometime this week, I'm going on vacation, and I'll get this thing framed, and then we'll start getting the metal. I'll have to get some friends and neighbors help me with the metal. Well, this is from the inside. I, I've been working. I got a mess. So here, you can see my mess. But you see what we've done. Today. I'm not framing this like a regular 16 on center. I've kind of worked about, it's kind of worked in. Here. The metal will strip from these buildings, and these buildings are normally, when they're done, you'll see how normally, you know, they're not that much taller. So, I got about $150 worth of framing lumber. I got some screws. And this is the backside. And I might be a little bit off of plumb, a little bit on my stuff. Some of that I've had this kind of work with. And what we've done is the, like along the walls here and along the walls there, I used like rivet nuts and screwed it to it. We redheaded it to the floor. And then the top there is all tied in rivet nuts and screwed so the tin will when we put the metal on it and mount it. Uh, I'm going on vacation pretty soon, so well, I don't know how much more. I'll probably work tomorrow in the front and get it. And then I'll probably be a stopping point for a while. So, with that being said, I thought I'd throw this in the slot. My woodworking skills ain't the greatest to some of this, like the two before. Trying to line all that up and get it perfectly plumb is a little bit difficult. We try to get them as close as we could. So, and the one of the things I'm talking about, this door, I picked it up at a salvage place. And a local salvage 
place, and I give forty dollars for that door. I mean, it ain't perfect, but my gosh, for a shop builder, it's way better than them white doors that they put on these things. So we're gonna have a pretty decent little garage to put the car in once we get her done. But and I'm still going to be out a whole lot less expensive than I've had them to do it. I've cut a few deals along the way and, uh, and all. So right now, I think, I'm a thinking, I'm a hoping I'm going to get out under four grand. I don't know yet. We'll see. So, all said and done, hope you enjoyed it. Okay, everybody. I know I've been... I'm going to show you where I'm working on the shop then. This is the, you know, I remind you, this is the race car shop. Mainly, it's what it's going to be when it's finished. Uh, in case you haven't seen in some of the other slops, this is a carport that I had constructed, and then we poured floor. So now, I've been doing some framing. Those are just two before. Uh, one of my subscribers texted me, and one of them I fell off the earth, and we had a really, really pleasant conversation, but to kind of show some details here, uh, this is the metal, and this right here is how I've attached it. What I've used is what they call nut certs or nut rivets. You see, right up here in this corner, right here, I drill through and just put wood screws in. Same thing right there at the top. You can see, let me see if I can zoom you in. Just a little bit. There you go. All right. So that's how all that's attached. Then we got redheads at the bottom of both these. So <coughs> I have to go get a redhead. And now the top door I'm going to use is still up in the air. I have to do some measuring. So uh, I just thought I'd bring you up to date. That's kind of where I'm at on this. So, there we go. Okay, my buddy Jim Enos sent, you know, the, wheel, the gentleman does the wheel wheel, sent me some items a while back. And that's what it is. It's a little attachment that goes on your tape measure. It has a magnet on it. And uh, I can't remember the exact thing. You can probably get up to Jim. He's trying to market things. <laughs> he gave me a couple. In fact, he sent me, actually sent that one attached to that tape measure for me. Told me he wanted me to review it and use it a while before he said anything about it. So, with this construction project I've been doing here at home on this metal building, I've been using this thing a good bit. And I thought I would tell you, man, it is the handiest thing in the world. And, um, so I thought I would show that off today. So I will uh, personally thank Jim, and you can get in touch with him through his wheel wheel or email or whatnot. See if he's still selling these, because these are handy little deals right here. It slips right on your, it slips right on your end right here. Just see if I get this one to come off. This one's still on there, so See, it pops on right here. I'm not going to take it off. But I have really been using this, and it's been really handy. Thank you, Jim. I appreciate you sending that to me. And another thing is, I got a new cup. My, my madam, we had our anniversary, and she bought me a Yeti cooler to take around and this, this cup. And the neat thing about this cup, it screws off. Well, I got that. I got a little electrical process here. I'm going to do on camera. My adapter for my trailer looks like it's about broken too here again. I'm going to reinforce it this time. I'm going to bore you. I am going to show you. This a little fishing box, I keep all my spare electrical connectors in. So it's real handy to be reaching grab and find it. So, uh, that's just one of my little things right there. Guys, I don't know if I shot this. It's hard for me to see in the viewfinder. But what you got here is, is some 10 foot metal. It's a shade darker than my outside building. But I got this in the marketplace. 
for about half the price of this. It being 10 foot, I can work with it by myself. So uh, I just had to throw that in there. I mean, we just been working on a lot of different stuff. Well, there's a hands off my race car. Excuse me, I'm going to uh, We've got a chitty seat that we use to keep the smaller ones to out, press us out with my stepdaughter. And two, two of the grandchildren yard selling. So there's stuff we're going to put the engine back together. I was just talking to my buddy about that today. Uh, a local guy checked their heads for us. So. Hands are good. We just got to get a car together. So that's sense. Hey, folks! Hope you enjoyed today's slot. This is a copyrighted production of James Deadman Sawlogs Plastic Hubs. Uh, again, I apologize for just being busy. Uh, vacation, race car, and construction has kept me really busy. Uh, Last night, I, I actually went down to Gantry, South Carolina. Uh, one of my many interests on YouTube, besides watching some of the machinist community, is a couple of people who race um, and this little different stuff. Uh, one of the gentlemen, uh, Jason Hollis of Hollis Farms, was down at uh, Cherokee. He was down there last year for a big race and won it. And I just had the opportunity to go down and meet him and Bo Miner from the Miner Boys. Them boys were always communicate with them and talk with them about our shared interest in the racing and stuff. So I got to visit with them, practice and qualifying night. Uh, that was really nice. Uh, tonight, Saturday night, I'm probably going over to East Lake on our local track. Another YouTuber is over there, uh, 3 Zero Racing, uh, Andrew Kaiser. They're going to be over there tonight. And I'll, I'll, Andrew and I have met through YouTube and communicate quite regularly. So uh, I'm going to go see Andrew plus the, uh, some of the turrets that help us with the race car there. The, his uh, girlfriend's daughter's car is racing tonight. we got sprint cars racing tonight over there, which ought to be a real show on that little bull ring. So uh, we'll be over there doing that. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, I apologize again for being busy. Right now, I haven't got any projects just right out top to do. And I've been putting a lot of energy in the race car, and I've been putting a lot of energy in the new shop for the race racing. Uh, one of the things that will happen is, once I get that shop built, I'm going to move some stuff out of this shop. Mainly the toolbox, probably the hydraulic press, my welders and stuff, which won't give me a ton of room. But that'll free up some floor space, especially maybe I can get my saw out of the door, my hand band saw. So that's kind of another thing. It won't be air conditioned like this one, so I'm going to do all the machine work in here. And there's some, you know, I've got some fab projects and stuff I'm going to be working on for that shop, too. Uh, my welder should be coming home in the next couple of weeks anyway. Uh, my buddy's fixing to have me move, and he. He's going to be not needing it, so I'm going to get to bring it home. So with all that being said, hey, you have a great, wonderful day. We'll see you in the next video.